What's up people, my name's Sean Reynolds, welcome back to the Ditto Music YouTube channel. Today we're talking about how to get your music featured on TV and film projects, otherwise known as Sync. We're also running a competition on this video where you could win yourself a Shure SM58 and all you have to do is leave your best Sync related comments in the comment section below. That could be a question, a tip or just something funny. So a pretty jam packed video today, so let's get straight into it. Roll the title. Now, before we begin, if you're watching this video, the likelihood is that you make your own music, and if that's the case, you will need a distributor. Enter Ditto Music. With a free 30-day trial so you can try the service before you buy it, and you get to keep 100% of your royalties. To find out more, check the link in the description box below. Anyway, let's crack on with the video. So, sync. Now, you've probably heard this word being thrown around quite a lot in conversations amongst your musical friends and at networking events, and that's because it's becoming more and more well known that it is a great way to make more money from your music rather than relying on streaming revenue alone. By the way, sync is short for synchronization, which is the process of synchronizing music with moving images. For example, films, TV shows, adverts, video games, and trailers. And one great thing about sync in general is that there is a lot of opportunity available. Everybody wants music for their project. And speaking of sync opportunities, did you know that as a Ditto Pro or label subscriber, you can access a bunch of creative briefs for sync tracks? And you can find them from your Ditto dashboard. Just head to publishing, then sync opportunities, and scroll through the available listings. So why should you focus your attention on getting your music synced? Now we've already mentioned money, and money is nice. But you definitely can't overlook the fact that these opportunities can bring huge amounts of exposure to your music and yourself as an artist. What's more is that licensing your music for sync opportunities can be done from the comfort of your own home. So once your music is made, this is a really easy extra thing you can do to try and further your music career without having to leave your front door. So I'm sure you've heard all of that and you're now thinking, well, yeah, sync sounds great. Let's license my music. Well, there are three main strategies available to you. So let's talk about those. Option one, working with a publisher. One of the biggest hurdles to overcome in the sync licensing game is that there is a lot of admin work. Managing metadata, license agreements, all of the boring stuff that you'd rather not be doing when you could be making more music. Admin aside, working with a publisher will mean there's always someone fighting the good fight trying to get you sync licensing deals even while you sleep, which is something that you obviously wouldn't be able to do on your own. Publishers are also likely to have good working relationships with the people that are looking for the music in the first place. So having a publisher on board will likely increase your chances of landing multiple sync opportunities. And what better publisher to work with than the people that already distribute your music? As I mentioned previously, having a Ditto Pro or label subscription means that you get full access to Ditto's publishing tools. Now on the flip side, if you've been offered a publishing deal from a major label, for example, this will obviously involve the exchanging of contracts. So just a word of warning, make sure you seek legal advice before signing yourself up to anything that you may later regret. A few things to look out for in these contracts is the term of the contract, so how long you'll be locked in for. Also, whether the agreement is exclusive or not, which means that you are locked into just giving your music to that publisher for the term of the contract. And also their percentage cut of any money that is made from the licensing of your music. And just a quick FYI to drop in here, Ditto only take 10% of your publishing royalties, which as you start to dig deeper into the sync world, you'll realize that's a pretty good deal. Option two, submit your catalog to music libraries. Now this is a great option for everybody, even if you've just got a few songs that you wanna send out, or if you've got a whole catalog that you want to license. Music libraries can be a great place to reach a massive amount of people in a short space of time. What's more is that once your music has been accepted into the library, and is listed for people to use, there is no further work that needs to be done. You just make the revenue from however many people choose to use your songs. So if you're looking for that entirely passive income once the job is done, this could be the best option for you. But with everything that sounds amazing, there is always a slight downside. And with music libraries, that is the sheer number of them that are around. Just a quick Google search will reveal hundreds of music libraries that are potentially looking for your music. And it can be difficult to make your selection and decide which people to send your music to first. My recommendation would be to start small, send out to a few different places every week and see how you get on. Because some 
libraries will favour certain types of music above others, which means that some of your catalogue will be accepted to one library and then not accepted to another. So with music libraries, it can be a lot of trial and error. Option three, if you're an independent artist or musician and you have been for a while, then this will come as no surprise. DIY. There are a couple of really great things about attempting to do this yourself. One of them being you get to keep 100% of the money made, which can be great considering that most deals with publishers and music libraries standardly is 50-50. You also create the opportunity to make direct connections with music supervisors and other people that are looking for music so they could potentially come directly to you in the future. This is an element of the DIY approach that is just not possible with either music libraries or publishers because everything is done on your behalf. But yes, like with the other two options, there is always going to be a downside and with the DIY approach it is the workload. It takes a hell of a lot of work and a lot of persistence and a lot of knockbacks before you land any of your own licensing deals. But if you're up for the challenge and you're great at writing emails then it can be the most lucrative way to license your own music. Now you might be sat there thinking all of these options sound incredible but I'm just starting out I'm brand new to this what should I do first? And my recommendation would be to probably avoid option one if you're a beginner. And that is because any publisher that offers you a deal without any reputation or track record probably isn't gonna be offering you anything great to begin with. And just be cautious in your early days of anyone trying to sign you up, especially to any long-term deals. However, as I mentioned earlier, you can avoid all of this worry and confusion and access all of Ditto Music's publishing features as part of your Ditto Pro subscription. And by utilizing this service that is already offered by the people that distribute your music, it's a great way to get your foot in the door and see how the sync world works. Other than that, as we touched upon earlier, start to reach out to some of these music libraries and see what sort of music they're looking for. If you make multiple genres of music, maybe start with just one and see where that fits in. As you start to get your music accepted into libraries, you'll start to learn the sorts of things that work and the sorts of things that don't, and you can prioritize your time more efficiently. One thing I will mention as someone who is getting into the sync game themselves a lot recently, is that being versatile pays dividends. And if your plan is to get into sync long term and have this be a primary focus for your music career, then building a catalogue of diverse styles and genres is of the utmost importance. So while you're starting out with your select few songs, make note of what is clearly working for other people and maybe add it to your list of things to do in the future. So what do you think? Is the sync licensing game for you? Is it something you're now gonna be taking part in? Is it something that you're already taking part in? If you've got any comments and questions and tips and tricks, please leave them in the comment section below. And like I said before, you could be in with a chance of winning a Shure SM58. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Consider subscribing to the Ditto Music channel to see more content like this. My name's Sean Reynolds. I'll see you again soon for another video. Peace.